Hey guys, we're going to talk about Cluttercore. And no, it's not a new genre of hardcore headbanging music. Well, what is it? Well, let's explain what it's fighting against. So Cluttercore is fighting against minimalism. It's this idea that um, your whole house doesn't have to have nothing in it, that you uh, don't have to have only the things you need on a daily basis. It's this idea that you can still have all these different little items and um, you can still fill your home with items, but you do it in a very neat and kind of artsy way. So in this picture here, you can see uh, that the room kind of has all this stuff in it, right? But it's not just items that are kind of thrown there, like your mail sometimes just gets thrown in. It's items that you really hold dear um, and have a story to you that you're able to display in a great way uh, that help kind of fill the room and in the last year we have obviously experienced some crazy things with covid that we are stuck at home and that's kind of where this move, move, movement grew out of uh, this idea that you're at home and you want to feel comfortable in your own home so rather than hiding away all the things that make your home who who you are all those little knickknacks and uh, different things that you like why not display them in a great way? So, uh, a couple things with this movement. Uh, there's lots of different designers and artists that are kind of spearheading this movement. And so the idea is obviously displaying the things that are near to you um, in a good way. So you want to, first of all, you don't want to have just your items kind of out. Um, you want to have them neatly displayed. So. If you were displaying all of your items from vacations or something, you wouldn't want to have a few items in this room, a few items in another room. You wouldn't want to have them spread out. So the idea here is you want to have all those similar items kind of together, um, displayed in one spot. And another big part of this is that you want to have breathing room in those spaces. So you don't want to have a room that's just literally filled all the way around the walls, everything's on a table, like everything's on a table, you want to have space for everything because if it's just walls filled with items all the way around, you won't be able to tell where one item begins and where one kind of lets off. So having that space in between those items um, not only allows for you to not be overwhelmed by the stuff, but also for the items to shine. And it also helps you just function within those space because if you don't have free counter space or table space, uh, it's kind of hard to function. Uh, so making sure that you have uh, space on your counters, uh, on tables, just to be able to put things like drinks, if you're having friends over, uh, or prepare dinner, you want to have that space to function. And another big part of this I um, actually see is that this movement kind of actually helps you not have a design style as well that you can kind of evolve it over time and um, it helps you create a storyline of who you are and it's not just a snapshot in time of what your house looks like which is how a lot of us have kind of lived um, but it also helps you buy less stuff well, why is that because minimalism on the other end uh, we tend to have all this open counter space and table space and floor space that sometimes we see stuff and we buy it just because we say, I have room for that. And that's not true with um, clutter core. Because clutter core, you don't have space for anything because what you have out on display is precious to you. And when you go out, you think, why would I buy something that doesn't have the history and story like the things I have at home? And if you buy something at the store, you probably have to figure out a way to fit it in with those things you already have on display, which are already more precious to you. So Clutter Core is a great movement, um, and it's great if you're able to do it uh, in a way that is actually um, kind of artistic. And there's a lot of designers that you can search out. Just type in Clutter Core. You can find it on Instagram and TikTok and uh, social media platforms that if you're able to collect all of these different things that are meaningful to you and display them in a purposeful way, 
um, and keep all the other clutter out of your house um, from that mail piling up to just boxes of random items. This clutter core movement um, is a really cool idea um, and really kind of complements minimalism in a sense um, on with it being on the other end. So if you guys are interested in um, learning more about this, just type in clutter core into uh, whatever social media site or Google and you'll see a lot of different pictures and designers. Um, you can pick up on some of their cues.